let's let's talk a little bit about uh, some of the key considerations uh, when it comes to packaging an occupant. Okay, so uh, we talked about H point. H point is basically um, the distance between the, um, the the driver's hip and and the ground. So you know, right? Actually, it's measured at the center of the hip point. So that's 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 the the H point, the key dimension. Okay. Uh, we also want to consider back angle. So uh, back angle in you know in a low H point vehicle tends to be a lot more uh, lean back. That also helps keep the the, the roof profile down. Uh, we also want to talk about uh, hip to heel. Hip to heel is a very important dimension. So uh, if if we take a, a point here where the heel is and a point where the hip is. And measure that that distance, hip to heel in a sports car is extremely low. You can also see that the 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 uh, the hand position for the steering wheel is about aligned with the shoulder. Okay. And then we also want to start talking about outward visibility, um, downward vision to the road. As you can see, you know the 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 position of the windscreen is extremely is extremely low. So this, this car is going to have excellent downward vis visibility. Okay. So you can see, I, I can see the road really well. Okay. Let's talk about ingress and egress. Um, this is a critical point right here. This is called, actually there's two points. These are called ingress targets. Ingress targets are, are, you know, if you're getting in and out of the vehicle, um, especially in a lower vehicle, you know, you're going to have to be able to duck your head uh, through these ingress targets to get in the vehicle. And then to get out of the vehicle, you're going to want to lean forward and move your head this way to get out of the vehicle. And so you want to make sure that even, even with, a, in a, with a very low uh, roof profile, that you're able to... Um, you know, get underneath that pillar without bumping your head and get in and out of the vehicle easily. Another, another um, consideration is leg swing. So you're going to want to, as you're getting in and out of the vehicle, you're going to want to be able to swing your leg out of the vehicle. As you can see, there's a, there's a huge distance between the occupant's pos you know, uh, positioning and the, the rocker. Right. Um, you now that's that's very typical in a very, in a high performance car because you're trying to keep the occupants as close to the center of the vehicle as possible, not only for optimum weight balance, but also um, uh, also to to give the occupant more of the experience of being in a race car, which is you know in a center position. Uh, you also have to consider even in a mid-engine car that leg swing. You're gonna you're gonna you're gonna have to clear that you know you're gonna have to clear that front wheel. So, um, uh, so if you, if you position the occupant too far forward, they're not going to be able to uh, swing their leg around that front wheel without really contorting their leg. So those are some, those are some key and critical considerations when positioning an occupant. Let's talk about some of the uh, key considerations in a high H point vehicle. Uh, for the occupants. Now, um, again, H point is measured from the from the hip of the occupant to the ground. As you can see, this is a very long distance, a very high H point. Um, this is going to give him a commanding view of the road. So he's going to have a nice downward vision line. He's going to have to clear that hood, but he's going to have a very nice uh, commanding downward vision. Okay. So uh, let's talk about some other key dimensions. Um, let's talk about hip to heel. So hip to heel is the, is the height between the um, occupant's hip, hip position and their heel position, the vertical dimension. Uh, a hip to uh, a high hip to heel is, is, common in a high H point vehicle. So this per that, that indicates that the person is sitting quite upright. Same thing with the back angle. The back angle is, is quite upright. It's not leaned back too far, but very comfortable. So, so um, this is a very 
uh, comfortable, upright, commanding uh, seating position. Uh, you'll also see that his um, his hands are, are are sort of aligned, you know, with with uh, sort of midway through the upper arm, not not all the way with the shoulder, like the sports car. So um, so he's you know his arms are in a more relaxed position, and he's, he's sitting quite upright. Um, again, we have to consider um, leg swing. So in 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 the case of a full size truck, you know the occupants are. Sp are spread quite quite a bit apart. Now this is a another key dimension I didn't cover in the sports car. This is called couple distance. Couple distance is the distance between the right and the left uh, occupants. And a high a a, a a a large pickup truck typically has a big couple distance. Um, and and for you know oftentimes to to be able to even package a, a third occupant in the middle. So. Um, that being said, it also en enables a really wide interior. It also minimizes leg swing, so so he only has to get you know his leg over a short distance, getting in and out in order to um, you know reach the foot the, the the footboard here. Also, you can see he can easily swing his foot around the front wheel. Um, he's not too far forward. Um, we could probably position him a little further forward, but as you can see, the rear occupants already have. A ton of a ton of leg room. Um, so yeah, rear, as far as rear occupants go, we we can we have to consider leg room. Uh, the distance between um, the, the you know the, the the knees and the the back of the uh, the occupant. Um, you know, typically in a in a large vehicle, it's a very generous uh, very generous dimension. Uh, we can also look at things like theater seating. So you can see the rear occupant's head is slightly higher than the, um, the front occupants, so they can see over the occupants a little bit. And so, um, so th these, are, these are the characteristics of a, of a high H-point vehicle. So when you're inside the vehicle, it's, you can see it's going to be a very uh, open and generous uh, package. This is, this is one of the great things of Gravity Sketch, just being able to um, see and experience the scale of, of things. That's something that was, was never possible in, in a traditional CAD software. Um, on, only in a full-size tape drawing or a full-size seating book could you, could you hope to experience in, in three dimensions the, the, the spaciousness. Uh, so as you can see, I have, um, you know, this, this vehicle has a very, very fast windscreen and a very short hood, which means there's this a lot of open space here. Um, there's 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 a potential to really use that space uh, in a in a uh, uh, you know some sort of functional capacity. Uh, oh, and uh, let's talk about one more thing: the ingress and egress. Remember, we talked about in the sports car the ingress targets. Uh, as you can see here, the 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 um, the ingress the top of the the window is quite you know is quite uh, high, so. It's going to be very easy for this occupant to get in and out of the vehicle without bumping their heads. This is this is a very very open, generous, large scale package, as opposed to the sports car, which is really really you know um, shrink wrapping the, the the body to the occupant as tightly as, as humanly possible. So so these are these are the key considerations when you're when you're uh, putting together a vehicle package. Think about your target user. Think about the, the, the needs and wants with regards to interior accommodation versus exterior uh, silhouette. Um, and, and you know today you've been able to see the, the contrast between a very functional uh, silhouette and interior with a very accommodating interior versus a very sleek dynamic sports car which has got a very tight interior. So thank you for watching and hope you learned something and I, um, I will hope to uh, see all of you develop some very interesting packages and architectures. Thanks for watching.